Hey, what's up, fellas? I know I forgot to do this. It's yes, uh, yesterday is usually where we do the drip stock review. I'll come in and uh, show you what's going on. It's not bad news, but it's pretty friggin' hilarious what happened. I also want to tell you that uh, yesterday my uh, wife, because I'm in my uh, soft guy era, decided that uh, I, she was going to give me a surprise. So she bought me a Lexus. Uh, ES350. Uh, I keep them on the uh, trickle charger because cars nowadays tend to uh, use a lot of uh, electricity even when they're resting. So I'll show you what we got here. Got a um, got a there it is is a Lexus ES350. Um, bum, 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 by the way, I didn't have to pay anything for this car, which is amazing. Uh, well, uh, that's uh, hey, by the way, it's late. By the way, ladies, if you want to um, make a guy real happy, um, uh, buy him a car, buy him a house. You know, because we're in our soft guy era. We don't need, we, don't, we need to be taken care of. So here we go, back seat, and I'll show you the front. Uh, it was a nice surprise, very nice surprise. Uh, I I would not have for me, and I know this makes me in uh, in Spanish. It's what they call uh, codo or pinche codo, means that you're a tightwad with money. So I've always, I don't think I'll ever forget when I was poor. Um, and again, it's it's nice car. It's twenty four thousand miles on it. Anyway, so let me shut the at the door my wife's off with her mom so i just done i mean that's a pretty good deal for me get the, a sedan i've always wanted for nothing all right so i'll uh, move us over to uh, the uh, dividend reinvestment plan stock and for those of you who do not know this is one of the ways i can help you i will get up and show you some stuff but i'm just going to give you some background Yes, you can actually buy stocks from directly from the company without using a broker. What we use is um, a website called computershareoneword.com. Um, <clears throat> is this a, am I harping them out because they're paying me? No, we, I use a free account. I've used a free account since they've pretty much been around. I think they've been, anyways, it doesn't matter. This is not uh, my account. <laughs> This is an account we started for the channel so I could show you tangible proof that the things I'm talking about in regards to money actually work. Um, uh, I'll give you some of the ground rules. 10% of everything you make, every single thing off the top, pre-tax, whatever you want to call it, is yours to keep for the rest of your life. You can... Um, Build yourself a mausoleum with it, and or they, you can bury your, yourself face down and have the world kiss your ass. Uh, you can do whatever you want with that, but the main purpose for having this money is so we can leverage it into a loan. Now, again, how does Computer Share get paid if they're not paying me to promote their product? Computer Share gets paid. Um, every company that has a, that sells a, an Anyways, all the companies that we invest in, every company has an advertising budget. It comes out of their advertising budget. All right, enough said. And if you want to go back through and to see when we started the drip stocks and how we're doing now, you'll be, you'll be fairly impressed. All right, last week, our ending balance on April 26, 2024 was $27,241.32, and we were up... $806.69 or $2,882.61 for the year. Is that, wow, super huge money? No. But every time they grant a dividend, all of that money makes more money by purchasing extra fractions of a share. On top of that, I'm not going to go over all of this because of how the fight's actually started. All right. Uh, all right. Um, 
Right now, our current balance is $27,242.52. So let me put that in the calculator. And then I'll stand up and I'll show you all of this. So $27,242.52 minus last week. This is, this is my laptop. This is my laptop computer. Uh, minus, uh, minus 27. 241.32 equals <laughs> we made a dollar and 20 cents for seven days now earlier in the week when i checked on this and this was the day before uh, and the day of and the day after jerome powell made his uh said that he wasn't going to lower um, the prime rate we were down by what is it today's yesterday by the third yesterday so the first or second day last day of uh, thursday which above the last day of april and the first two days of may we were down twenty five hundred dollars and uh, we end up finishing up the week because after after about a couple of days after Jerome Powell said that, you know, he's not going to lower rates, the uh, stock market threw a hissy fit. And people were, oh, the world is going to end. Oh, my God, we're going to die. Ah. And no. And, and no, it didn't happen. The world didn't end. And, and people still invest. So I'm going to show you. So you can see for yourself. In fact, I'll put up the calculations. <clears throat> uh, never mind. Good thing I cleared that, right? All right. Anyway, so I'll show you what we're talking about here. <clears throat> Here is computer share right there. Uh, that's my first name. Hello, Frank. This is our. This is not my only. Uh, this is not my only computer share account. I've had one since forever. So that's our balance right there, and you can go back and match it against the uh, last week's ballot. B ballot balance. So here are what are called our holdings in the. The companies that we have, did I get that right? I got that, there we go. There's our holdings. First one up is, of course, is Amazon, and below that is California Water. And then what I do every Friday is I sit down and I go through them. And and I, you want to know how we pick our stocks? We pick our stocks by things that everybody has to have. Things that everybody needs, things that people want. These are not luxury items. These, this is a need or have to have item. First one is Amazon. That's a need. If you need something shipped to you and you don't happen to have the current meal, they'll get a, a mail system like, like you would be you would be shocked at if you leave the uh, United States. <clears throat> I don't know about Canada, but I know from the border of Texas on down through Central and South America and the mail is non-existent if it's anything now I'm sure if you know better than I do but I traveled all over there anyway it doesn't matter I'm not trying to make a point I'm just trying to tell you that I use Amazon I like Amazon I like the convenience of it and the good prices because you can actually see what's up on there so um, we have Amazon and the ticker symbol and this is what I do I show you uh, the stocks that we have we have 12 stocks in our portfolio I'll give you the quantity the price and the market value of them today so that you can see what's going on not too long ago um, Amazon had a two-for-one split which means for every stock we had because they wanted to lower the overall price of the stock they had to give us at least two shares to keep us and make us whole for our money we were in there all right so Amazon.com Incorporated. Their ticker symbol is AMZN. That's their ticker symbol. We have 24.231 shares. It's $186.21 per share, and it is up. And I will show you what I'm talking about. The green arrow means it's up. Let me slide down to some other stocks and see if I can show you a down arrow. There's a down arrow. There's a down arrow, that's a different. And if there's no change, there's an, a, a yellow arrow that points towards my uh, right, maybe your left. Anyways, it'll just show you up, down, or no change. So first stock is Amazon.com. Second stock is California Water Group. 
Uh, we have a 43.718 shares at $50.57 a share. Total portfolio value, $2,000. $210.82. Amazon is $4,512.10. So, and because we have 12 stocks, we don't have all of our eggs in one basket. So if that company goes tits up, we'll take a loss, uh, but we're not going to lose everything. Uh, uh, over here, to prove my point, is a pie chart showing uh, the breakdown of the stocks we have and what part of our portfolio they are. So we're going down. So we've done Amazon and California Water. California Water Group's ticker symbol is CWT. Chesapeake's utility company is CPK, is its ticker symbol. We have 16.2 shares at $110.05 a share, and that's also up for a total value of $1,763.02. If you don't know much about the Chesapeake Bay region, it's also referred to as WDC, Washington, D.C. area, or the DMV, the District, Maryland, and Virginia. I cannot tell you how bad the uh, my uh, allergies ha have been. Excuse me. <laughs> have been for the last few days. Anyway, all right, so let's chug through these. Uh, next next one below that is our most expensive stock, and that is called Costco Wholesale Corporation. I like Costco. I go to Costco, and I might just go all the way there, go in there and buy like an under $5 chicken <laughs> and bring it home and eat it, eat it for two or three days. Anyway, all right. Uh, we have 1.685 shares in Costco. They're $743.90 a piece, and it's up. And when I say it's up, it's up as of Friday. It doesn't mean it's up overall. And that's why in the beginning I give you our starting balance, our ending balance for the week before on Friday, and our ending balance this week. Overall, overall we made a grand total of um, $1.20 this, <laughs> this, this week. Uh, but for the year we're $1,283.81, okay? Uh, for the year. Uh, am I going to break it down by the percentage? Uh, no, because I'm, um, I'm trying to get to the fight. So let's, let's move on. Um, right below that is ExxonMobil. <sighs> ah, excuse me for doing that. Uh, Exxon Mobil Corporation XOM is we have 37.548 shares, $116 a share, and that one is down. Uh, Marathon Petroleum Company is ticker symbol MPC. We have 14.799 shares at $182.55. Uh, right below that is the Raytheon Corporation, ticker symbol RTX. We have 13.967 shares in that account. And it's $101.40 per share. Uh, right below that is the Clorox Company. Oh, that, that, that ticker symbol for Raytheon is RTX. The Clorox Company's ticker symbol is CLX. We have 11.105 shares in Clorox. $138.23. All of these companies make a myriad of things, products and services that they provide. And they're products and services that people need want need and fill a want all right uh, right below that is the coca-cola company i i keep this stock and i think i'll keep it no matter what happens because of the amount of help over the years that uh, two men charlie munger god god rest his soul and uh warren buffett who's still hanging around there so the kit coca-cola company is famous because of its ticker symbol has two letters ko and we call it knockout we have 38.91 shares in there. It's at $62.17 a share, and that's up. <clears throat> right below that is the J.M. Smucker Company, ticker symbol SJM. We have 5.678 shares. It's $113.11 per share. They make all the dog food and cat food. They don't just make jellies. They make a, a, they make a whole bunch of different products. And that was kind of a, um, a – we added it to our portfolio to kind of – Take advantage of all the dog ladies and cat ladies, and now look at me. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cat person. Anyways, I'm over. <clears throat> Tyson's Food is right below that, and its ticker symbol is TSN. That's the uh, meat and pork products, chicken, the meat products you see all the time at Walmart. And we have 23.755 shares in uh, Tyson's Food. It's $62.00. 
two cents a share and it's up. Uh, da, 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 da. And it's, yeah, it says it's, all of these are up and I'll, I'll show you the last one. Walmart, which ticker symbol is WMT. We have 49.489 shares and we used to have 15. Uh, earlier last month, they did a three for one split. So for every one share we used to have, we now have four. So here we go. All right, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Walmart Incorporated, ticker symbol WNT, DSPP, common stock. Right right across from that is the price per share, $49.48, 49.498 shares at $59.82 green arrow means it was up. And it was up as of, you'll see right below that Friday, May 3rd, 2024. Overall portfolio value is $2,960.43. I will. Uh, none of this is going to wow you. None of this is like winning uh, a lottery ticket, but using time and compound interest, which you have the ability to control. What are we going to do? We have to become financially literate as men, or we're going to get screwed. You will get screwed. You will get on a credit card, a crazy percentage. So first thing I highly recommend you do is you start, you, we always pay ourselves first 10% no matter what. No matter what. Second thing is we get our ass out of debt. Now I'm not talking about consumer debt or taking what I call a free float on a credit card. That's like a 25-day free loan where, they're get, where they, you use their money to buy something you want, but then you pay it off before it's due, and they charge you like, what, 27% interest? All right. Second thing we do is, well, those first two things, 10% of everything you make is yours to keep, and we get our, we get our ass out of debt. I'm going to log out. Um, we get our ass out of debt. Yeah, um, and you want to you want to you want to live as much as you can debt free. I can't tell you what a what a nice surprise it is to go. Uh, I'm gonna backtrack and I'm gonna tell you something. One of the biggest things you have to come to grips with is the difference between an asset and a liability. If you can grasp that concept, you are going to make it. You are going to be successful. You're going to figure things out. Assets are something that you pay for once and then they pay you, like our dividends off our stock portfolio. Liabilities are like that car. Even though the car out in the garage, the brand new Lexus out in the garage is paid off, it still costs money to run it. It costs money and gas it costs tires, it costs uh, maintenance, it costs all kinds of things. You're never truly out of debt with that until you realize a gain. And that's when you sell it for profit. If you're going to keep a car for about three years, I suggest you lease and look around on YouTube for a good lease. How to, how to get a good lease. If you're going to keep a car, which I keep a car a minimum of eight years, and then I'll sell it. By then, it's already paid off, and I've got about five years out. I usually kick. It doesn't matter. I'm getting way off on a tangent. Listen. None of this is rocket science. Dividend reinvestment plans, you can buy them without a broker and never have to pay a fucking broker's fee. They're fucking ruthless people who don't give a shit about you. And the, it, it, it just reminds me of people lining up to give their money away. Yeah, I'm going to go invest $100, but i got to pay your brokerage fee of $45.99 every time I talk to you on the phone, every time I invest. And then there's a fee for moving stock or trading stock and this and that. Here, you don't have any of that. Again, being financially literate is one of the cornerstones for you to be, to you to have a good life, a good financially stable life. Is this helicopter money? No. Is this money to start a business? Yes. Is it money to buy a car? Yes. Is it money to put a down payment on a house? Yes. You walk into the bank, you show them that you know how money works, you leverage this loan, you put this up as collateral, 
And let's say we needed, let's say I need, we needed $25,000 by Friday next week. Monday morning, I would start shopping my assets around to different financial institutes on how to do it. I would always hope you use a credit union and not a bank. Credit unions are for their members. Banks are for profit. Okay? I, 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 could, I could go on about this for a long time. I didn't mean to make this video so long, but I got uh, a little carried away driving around <laughs> yesterday in the car. All right? Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, you take care of yourselves. And let me revert to my soft guy here. Ladies, you can't afford to buy your man mid-five figures luxury sedan. Maybe you don't deserve a good man. Maybe you just deserve to be alone for the rest of your life. i got to let the cat in. Yeah, and we're supposed to be picking up a kid. Hey, come on. Are you coming in? No? You're not coming in? Well, stay out there. Anyways. I uh, like a fart in a G-string from soon to be UFC Fight Central. Like a fart in a G-string, I'm out of here. Bye-bye.